Oh, for Christ's sake, Wiener did it again. So, Congressman Wiener uh, was obviously a representative from New York, United States representative, when he got caught sending inappropriate texts uh, and he had to resign eventually. Uh, that was one of my uh, few incredibly wrong predictions. I brag about my predictions all the time. But that story was so outrageous. I was like, there's no way a U.S. Congressman did that. Wrong again, Bob. It was him. He did do it. Uh, so uh, afterwards, he was going to run for mayor of New York. This is fairly recently. And he did it again with a woman named Sidney Leathers, improbably named Sidney Leathers. But that also was true. And he was having inappropriate flirty messages with messages with her. Now New York Post reporting, for God's sake, a third time. A third separate time, by the way, there were multiple instances in there. Okay, so according to the New York Post, Wiener had an online conversation where he got really flirty when he thought he was talking to a female college student. Instead, it would seem that Wiener gave his phone number and offered his location to a male New York college student who was using a friend's Twitter account to troll him into a trap. When will they listen to Admiral Akbar? Apparently, in the case of Wiener, never. Okay. The student who called himself Nikki uh, baited Wiener by talking about strappy black heels and porn scenes, to which Wiener responded with some suggestive sounding double entendres. Uh oh, puns. I like these. Okay, now, I, we're not going to get into all the puns and the different things that he used. Just a couple of uh, examples, which is going to explain the graphic next to me. One part of the exchange shows that Wiener told Nikki he was only wearing a towel. Wow. Okay. And he said that he was, quote, deceptively strong, like a mongoose. Who says that? <laughs> Who says that? You remember what his nickname was last time? His pseudonym was Carlos Danger. <laughs> now, this time, the mongoose is loose. Hey, what's good for the mongoose is good for the gander, apparently. So, anyway, uh, Wiener sent the post an email confirming the conversation in text. But he insisted that he knew it was a setup and was trying to troll his prankster back. He explained uh, uh, that the exchanges were, quote, a playful joust with an obvious catfish, and that, quote, I can confirm that I am indeed deceptively strong, like a mongoose. Okay, don't, don't, don't do that. First of all, I don't believe you. I don't think anyone believes you. Let me explain why. Uh, number one, if you were just jousting back and forth, why did you give him slash her your phone number and talk about meeting at a corner? Your phone numbers, that's pretty personal information. I don't think I'd give that to a troll, someone who I thought was an obvious troll. I don't think I'd do that. And secondly, who in their right mind, after suffering all the humiliation of the last two rounds of inappropriate tweets, would go, oh, I got a great idea, man. I'll prank the troll back, but I won't tell anyone else. So if I get caught, it'll seem like the third time I did it. Who would do that? And we have our answer. Carlos Danger, the mongoose. This guy's a character out of a movie, but I don't know if the movie is a drama or a comedy. Actually, I think I know. If you're not a member of the Young Turks and you're not getting the whole two-hour show ad-free, you know what you're going to be thinking? <coughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Go.